Yeah, g'day guys and girls, welcome back to another video from the Endless Fishing Pursuit. Uh, firstly, I just want to apologise for the massive gap in content, guys. This is the first week we've had of clear weather we've had in this, since pretty well the start of the year. So that's amazing. Um, so yeah, I've back, back to fishing now, the river's just starting to clear up. There's a few dew, a few flatters starting to get around. Um, so yes, yeah, should be back to fishing as soon as possible. Uh, so I thought why not make a boat review video so today i'm going to be reviewing my little mako craft little 445 commander pro a little 60 merc on the back so yeah first of all it's uh got three mil three mil tops sides and bottoms um she's sitting on a dumbier gal trailer um, which is 800 kilo rated, so it's a brake trailer, which has been bloody handy trying to pull up the traffic. It's got the nice little maggies on there. It is a bit dirty. I have just been out um, with the family, so yeah, I've got to give that a bit of a clean up. So I'll give you guys a bit of a look inside. It's a mess. So up front, I've got my electric motor. Got me battery set up the only to run the electric motor with the, got the switch. Makes life so easy. All nice big storage at the front. Storage, massive live well, 100 litre live well. I can't stress how good that is. Hey, outside, throw your live slimies, live yakas, school of dew. The works in there, it's absolutely amazing. Some more storage on that side. Come standard as three three seats on the main floor, one up in the casting deck. Um, another rear. I use that as a kill tank, which is absolutely amazing when you got like snapper, mackerel, cut them, chuck, chuck the heads in there, let them bleed, and just, it just cleans itself out. Nice side pockets. Put a heap of stuff in there. More side pockets. Garmin unit, it's been amazing. I can pick up the Gold Coast Seaway even though we're 150 k's away from it, so it's nice to know I've got coverage. Little Garmin S Striker 7 SV, it's been pretty good too. Take it out deep sea, no worries at all. Um, so the extras you can't see is I'll just sit down. So I've got, got a 50 litre underfloor fuel tank. Um, Auto bilges, I've got the deck lights, nav lights, spot lights. Um, I've got to put the heavy duty aluminium rod holders in there because I didn't want to be trolling trolling baits for mackerel and then the next second your rod goes out the back because your rod holder gave way. So I just spent it, spent the money, got it done right first first go. So yeah, this is the little tub. It's been, a, it's been an amazing little boat to be honest with you. I, um, Continues to surprise myself just about every time I go out in it how capable it is I've done 100k round trips out to sea and never felt worried about it at all. It's been been amazing. So Yeah, got got me little mascot over there Always always comes to see what I've got any fish or not for him. So yeah, I've got some Got some little bit of footage there performance hole shot uh, I got some jumping over a bit of waves and stuff coming through the bar this afternoon. There's a bit of a bit of a roll on, um, but yeah, it's all I can say. It's been absolutely amazing. I've can't fold it in one aspect at all. So yeah, go uh, get on to Tim from Mako Craft Boats, and yeah, you won't be disappointed. All right. So I got the little murky just having a bit of a flush out. Can I just say that it has been absolutely. Lawless. So I've got a year and a half old now, and I am I'm already cracking 200 hours on it. So it's done. Yeah, it's good proper two years hard work. Um, has not let me down. It's been been amazing. Terrific on fuel. Nice and quiet. Um, yeah, it's really changed the game. Uh, servicing's pretty good. I think it's about 600 bucks to get a service. So it's no more than getting your car done and you're having fun actually when you're out in the boat. So. Um, yeah. yeah. Give this a bit of a walk in there. Got the little Weber on over here, trying to cook up these old potatoes and got some chicken going there later. But yeah. 
really nice looking little boat. Um, yeah, what else can I say about it? The, um, so the little murky, she's running about half throttle. You're doing about four kilometers per liter, which is absolutely outstanding. So I'm running a four, four pitch prop on it, four blade. The reason I went a mid, mid, um, went the four blade pop was for just completely another. I wanted the insane, same mid range uh, torque, which is that what it gives. It gives a really good hole shot and mid range torque, which is just, yeah, you need that when you're out, out to see a bit of a slop. There's no point having top end uh, when you're trying to punch through stuff. So it still gets gets up and goes so wide open throttle she's still on about 55 kilometers an hour which isn't bad considering it's prop for mid-range so you still get plenty of top end out of it it's running about two and two and a half kilometers per litre at wide open throttle which is about six thousand rpm so that's still you can't argue with that and uh yeah um i love the tiller steer the reason i want the tiller steer is just purely and utterly Fishability, so you can fish out of the whole boat, which is amazing. You know, you're outside and you're on the reefs or whatever, and you float line for snapper. The fish walks around the boat or goes to the front of the boat. You can just walk around the whole, the whole boat. Um, I'd be lost without my motor guide. It is. <laughs> if this thing's caught with a fish, holy crap! Out on 32, spot locking up, float line and live baits to six, 60 meters of water. I've caught marlin under the spot lock as well, out in the 60 metre line, um, in the river, just come back in, in the shallows, chasing your flathead, uh, chasing your dew, it's just it's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, if you're humming a home, just go buy one, you won't regret it. Just put as long as possible shafts on the boat that you've got, make sure you just put enough poundage on there. So that's a, that's a 60 pound, um, I think it's a 60 inch shaft as well, 50, oh, 55 pound, 60 inch shaft. So yeah, just make sure you go to the shaft so you're not pulling out of the water. Um, yeah, well, I don't really have much else to say other than I think that it really speaks for itself. I'll, I'll put up these clips here and have a look for it. Um, one little tip too I find is um, I always wash my boat down with a salt. So it's a Black Ops product, it's amazing. So 200 hours on the motor, no, corrosion at all. The trailer is still pretty well brand new. I've got, got a bit of crap on the tires it's been sitting in the rain, sitting in the mud. Um, but yeah, seriously it's a game changer. You won't see rust or corrosion on you on your stuff again. So go get some of that. whole shot. Oh, yes, he or not in the other 
up on the plane here. Here goes all those food. And just so you know, too, that's fully trimmed out that I would be driving at normally. So you get a better hold shot, no this down. Come through a bit of wash here. I'll go jump a wave for you guys up here. I've got some breaking so you can see. next week maybe we'll see how we go long weekend uh, I'll do my best to get out catches quite 